it to the hip hip papa you don't stop the rock to the bang bang you say what is up YouTube? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day as usual. Today by the title you can tell it's going to be a little bit different video. I am reviewing my personal Segway, oh there it is right there, the 9bot Mini Pro. Now I have owned this for a short mm, two and a half months now. I've put well over 300 miles on it. So I'm going to give you my exact thoughts on how the first 300 miles have been. Stick with me. Alright guys, so if you've watched my channel in the past, it's usually a car review. That is not a car, but it's pretty dang cool, so we're gonna review it anyways. I did switch up my line of work. Obviously, you guys knew I was selling cars. That's why there were so many car videos. Um, now, I am selling door-to-door -door is what I'm doing, and I was I was walking about 13 to 15 miles every single day before I got that guy right there. So this has saved my life. It's made uh, sales easier, kept my energy up. It's just fun to ride, and it looks cool too. It gets a lot of attention. So today, I'm gonna go into that and tell you all the good and the bad and my thoughts about how the first two and a half months of ownership have been with the Segway. Let's get into it. So this is the 2018 model. I didn't go ahead and, and get the 2019. I wanted to save a, a little bit of money, keep that money in my pocket where it belongs. Um, but this is the 9Bot Mini Pro, like I mentioned earlier. It is finished in the black color. It does come in two colors, white or black. I chose the black. Figured it would hide scratches and things uh, like that a little bit easier. Um, I did go ahead and I picked this up on Amazon. I believe the retail was $397 plus tax. Came out to be about $412, I believe. You can pick it up on Amazon. Ships in about two to three days. Really easy. Um, very convenient though. Um, I have zero complaints thus far. So. Now I'm kicking myself for not doing an unboxing video. I really should have done that. It did come packaged very nicely. Of course it is made by Segway, so you would expect it to be a quality product, thus packaged quality as well. But let me show you just exactly how easy it is to disassemble and adjust this bad boy. So you, you would think this thing might disassemble quite a bit. However, it doesn't, whether that's good or bad, it is up to you. Flip this little switch here on the knee bar just like that, that releases that. Take your hand here, lift up, and the knee bar slides right out. Leaves this little weird thing here, and that's as much as you guys get. Obviously, you can see it's still on. It's gonna move back and forth, uh, but that's as much as it disassembles just like that. So packaging or transportation, obviously, it's not huge. I wish it could disassemble a little bit more, but hey, less moving parts make for a better vehicle. So it's very simple that way. It's very easy. Now, let's go ahead and put this guy right back in there so it slides right in there just uh, push that tab right back over it's not going anywhere now um, you can adjust this right here for the right height of the knees if you're taller shorter obviously it's you're gonna want to make sure that it fits you the best but it's very easy to ride so I'm gonna hop on here now it's it's kind of like the hoverboard step on you're gonna hear a beep other foot on that means it's engaged now Obviously you just shift your weight forward or backward to move. And then to turn side to side, as you can see, this little knee bar fits right under my kneecaps there. You just turn that and it turns, turn it back. So it's very, very intuitive. And I would say very easy to ride. Uh, I'll hop off it. There we go, you're gonna hear the beep. That means it is disengaged. Of course it is still balancing there, but it's very easy to ride. Um, I've, uh, I've let multiple people ride this, including my wife and my father-in-law. He jumped on this thing and he learned how to ride it in all of three minutes. It's very easy and it's, it's very stable too. So that's always a good thing. You know, you're getting a quality product. All right. So looking a little further into the Segway, it does have nice sturdy rubber tires that are pumped up very nicely. Um, this is the portion that lacks, I would say right on the side, as you can see, it's scraped up quite a bit. And I've been really careful with it, but this side is worse. I probably shouldn't show you that. But yeah, it does get scraped up pretty easy. And that's exactly why I decided to go with the black version because the white would show everything just even worse. Because like I said, I've, I've, there's scratches everywhere on here, but from a distance, it looks pretty dang good still. So, uh, but yeah, that's a, I don't like that as much. I wish they would have done something better. The tires are good. Um, they hold quite a bit of weight. Obviously, I weigh about 180 pounds. They're not going flat on me. You can, I believe this holds up to 220 um, is the weight limit. Tires are good though. After 300 miles, let's take a look at them. You can definitely tell that they have worn. I'm hoping that I can get another 300 miles out of them. They are, the rubber, if you can see there, is kind of cracked in a lot of pl little places, but oh well. On the bottom side, 
so the motors are actually right in here. No secret, this is where the battery is. Yeah, I've scuffed the bottom up a little bit there. Now that's where the battery is. It does have headlights for when it gets dark. You can still ride it. Flip this little guy up, open the little tab. That's where you're gonna charge it. I don't have the charger with me, but I figured it's pretty self-explanatory on how to charge. That's where the charger goes. Now there's really only one button to the Segway to turn it on, and it's right in the center. So I'm gonna lift it up. Obviously it's not on, it's gonna tip from side to side. Put my finger there, thumb, excuse me, and it's on. Now you can see it does have the Bluetooth logo there, so it's searching for Bluetooth, um, but it is on. You can take it, it's it's good to go, it's on. Easy as that. Now, the cool thing with Segway, um, there is an app that you can download that has everything on there, so you can change the lighting. You saw the, the headlights, now back here you can see there's the brake lights, and if we drive it forward, it has different lights. You can change the color. You can actually even drive it off the app on your phone, which I think is cool. But I did mention it has over 300 miles. The exact mileage is 338 miles for about two and a half months. Now that is, that's a lot of riding. I would definitely say that's more than the average person rides. But I, I love this thing. It rolls up to about 13 miles an hour and it does drive for about 13 miles on a single charge. It charges exceptionally quick with a charge time of, I would say from completely dead, 45 minutes to an hour, you can charge this thing all the way back up and it lasts you all day riding it. So very good on that Segway, good job there. I do, I do have zero complaints. I have noticed that I think over the course of all these miles, it's battery powered, so it's only to be expected that the battery will wear out. I like to, to drive it all the way to dead and then charge it all the way full. I do think, however, that the battery is getting weaker as I can only usually go about 10 miles on a charge now. So that's one complaint that I have. I wish it would last a little bit longer. Well, that's basically gonna complete the video. I didn't wanna make this a very long video. It's very simple and it's very easy to operate the Segway. Now, um, I am very happy with the purchase that I made. Again, 400 bucks for the average person. Uh, for the average person, I'd say that's quite a bit just to throw away 400 bucks just like that. If you have it and if you're walking, uh, riding a bike, whatever, um, it is very nice to use this as you can transfer from place to place with work or just recreational use, ride around the park just as I'm doing right now. It's, it's fun, it gets a lot of looks. Obviously, if you've seen the movie Paul Blart, you know that he has the big beefy Segway. All the people are watching him. He's doing tricks on it. So it's it's fun. A lot of people recognize it and, and they'll point you out. If, if you want attention, get yourself a Segway. But again, that's gonna conclude everything here. Now, the Segway, in my opinion, is an excellent purchase. I have zero complaints with it. Go pick yourself up a Segway. I'm crossing my fingers and I'll keep you guys updated that it's going to last another 300 miles with zero, zero, zero issues. Go pick yourself up a Segway, check it out. I'll put a link in the description below to Amazon exactly where I picked it up. Once again, thank you guys for watching this video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to help me out and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.